Hello. So in this video, I would like to talk to you about the four different personality types. There are four primary personality types. Once you understand what these types are, you'll understand where you sit in that quadrant. And most importantly, you'll start to understand people in a way that you've never understood them before. The model that I prefer to use myself is called DISC. You might have heard of it, D-I-S-C. The D, the I, the S, and the C represents the four different types. D is for dominance. If you are a dominant personality type, you think fast, you speak fast, you are very action oriented. You wanna get things done. You wanna push forwards. You wanna get results. You are probably quite a challenging person. You know, if somebody says, well, let's do this, you would say, well, why? Why should we do that? Why not do this? Let's do this instead. That makes more sense to me. Yes, in fact, that does make sense. I'm, I'm gonna say we do this. So there's an assertiveness, there's a power, there's an intention to that D style. D is for dominance. It's a dominant way of being, a dominant way of thinking. It can be aggressive, it can be uh, a bit of a bully at times, but also, or alternatively, in a healthy sense, Ds get things done. So if you have that D energy in you, you get stuff done, you know, and whether you're in a business or running a family or doing something in your life, in your community, you know, people who get things done, get things done. It's as simple as that. So the D energy is about action. Uh, it's, it's about results. It's about focusing on a goal. I, I is about influence. This is about energy. This is about people. The I in you wants to connect with people. It wants to be seen. It likes to be different. It's about creative thinking. It's about artistic expression. It's about something that's original, something that's new. These are the things that appeal to the I personality type. You'll often notice an I because in a room, they'll be like, hey, hey guys, guys, I have an amazing idea. I'll tell you what, you know what we could do? Actually, the, oh, actually, this is even better. What we could do is this. And so they have a natural gift for coming up with ideas. They have a natural gift for bringing energy to a room. They have a natural ability to connect with people. They'll know people's names. They'll be connecting with people. Uh, there might be two teams here and they know both the people on both the teams. And these teams have been working together for maybe years. And actually, I didn't even know those people on those teams and they didn't know each other. But the I person has already met them, knows them, probably knows the name of their partner and their children. They love to talk, they love to uh, connect. Uh, the I energy brings uh, the, the I energy brings energy, it brings creativity, it brings people together, it wants fun. It wants life to be fun, it wants work to be fun. Uh, it can be too much, you know, if you have excessive I energy, it's like, whoa, just calm down, just, whoa, just put a lid on it, you know, it's like you're talking a lot, you're talking at me, you're like in my face, ah, you gotta do, ah, and it can be overwhelming, so the I you know, it, you know in, in a meeting environment, it's the person who's talking and talking and talking and doesn't really listen, doesn't really give other people a chance to contribute. S, S is steadiness. So if you have a lot of S energy in your personality, you very much care about people. Uh, similar to the I, the I cares about people as well. The S is calmer though, more of an introverted type. So wants to be around people, wants to be connected with people, wants to know that people are, are okay, people are doing well, wants to help people. That's a big thing for I, for, for S. It's like they want to help. They want to make a difference. You know, it's like, it's not just about, you know, results in life. And it's, I mean, new ideas are great and fun, but how are people doing? How's your team doing? Uh, and so-and-so hasn't checked in for a few days. And I'm really starting to think about them and maybe worry a little bit about them. I'm going to reach out. And I've noticed that you might be struggling with this. Can I help? You know, give me something to do. I like to help. I'm a team player. I'm not looking for the glory. I'm not looking to be the person at the front of the room with a microphone. Just let me be part of the team. Don't cut me away from the team. I hate that. I hate being cut out. Um, and also S really dislikes conflict. You know, so any type of like drama, conflict, aggression, passive aggressive behaviors, people not liking each other, tension in the room, that really is a big alarm bell for, for the S type. 
So you'll know that if someone's got who's got a lot of S energy and your team has gone quiet, okay, you need to pay attention, reach out to them, check in, ask them how they're doing, listen. Don't start telling them loads of stuff, actually listen because these are people who place a high value on being heard, and being understood, and you need to show that you care because if, you, if you're not treating someone who's got a lot of S energy, if you're not treating them like you care, they're not gonna be their best and they may, might even wanna leave. You know, If it's obvious that you don't care about them or even care about other people, that's a big issue for, for somebody with the S energy. D-I-S-C, C, conscientiousness. So if you have a lot of C energy in you, you are precise, you're analytical, you are process driven, you like a plan, you like structure, you love a spreadsheet, you're organized, you're on time. Uh, you are a human schedule. Someone could just say, oh, what's, when's the date of that thing, the, the new project? Oh, that's December the 3rd. And what day of the week is that? That's a Tuesday. Wow, <laughs> how, do you, how do you know that, <laughs> right? And so they're very organized, they love data, they can process a lot of data. They want structure. They want to know that there's a plan. They need a plan. And if there isn't a plan, they will make a plan. They like to make plans. In terms of their energy, they tend to be on the quieter side. They tend to show quite a seriousness about them. You know, they, they're not like necessarily bubbly. Chill. Hey, hey guys, how are you? It's not that type of energy. They tend to be more reserved, um, less emotive, more in their mind. These are cerebral people who use their brain a lot. You know, they're thinking a lot. And there's often the sort of, that sort of, you know, deep thinking expression on their face. That conscientious style tends to be much more withdrawn, not necessarily shy, not necessarily, not certainly not antisocial. Not, it doesn't mean that. It's more that they are more reflective. You know, so they might very much like being part of a group uh, um, or a team. However, they, they're not going to enjoy it if it's just, let's just meet up and have a chat about whatever we talk about. Who knows? There's no plan. There's no agenda. We'll just sit and talk and have a catch up. And that's not going to interest them much. By their very nature, they tend to be quite challenging people. You know, not that they're not challenging. Well, it can often be interpreted that they're being difficult. Like, I've got this idea and you've just told me three reasons why we couldn't do it. Like, are you like the business prevention department? So often they are painted with that sort of almost negative brush. Like, oh yeah, tell me why we can't, tell me we don't have the budget. It's gonna to be too risky. Oh, the law, oh, the legislation, oh, the regulations. You always talk about the regulations. So they might be perceived as being the naysayers and, and the, the sort of you know, almost like the business prevention unit, you know, but it's not. It's from, from their point of view. It's like, look, the rules are the rules and the law is the law and regulation is regulation and budget is budget. And so we have to follow this because that's the correct thing to do. So there's a high sense of, you know, doing the right thing and uh, keeping within the law and keeping within certain parameters and boundaries and limitations. Uh, honoring agreements, like we said, we're going to deliver it in five days. It has to be five days. That's what the contract says. Uh, so you can, yes, often win their favor and win their support by being precise, being specific. If they ask you for numbers, give them the specific numbers with the data. They want facts. They want science. They want mathematics. They want um, something that's tangible and measurable because that makes them feel safe and secure and uh, makes them feel that, you know, this is right. This is, the, this is correct. This is accurate. So these are the four types, D, dominance, I, influence, S, uh, st steadiness, and C, conscientiousness. We all have all four types, right? So it's not like you're just a D and you have no S or I or C. Uh, everyone has all four types. Uh, some people are in the middle. They might be a D, I, they've got a lot of D and I, or an I, S, or an S, C, or a C, D. Uh, it's fascinating, and it, it's such a simple model. You know, it's even just through my descriptions, I'm sure you've already thought, oh yeah, that's this guy. Oh, that's her. Oh, that's my mom. Oh, that's my dad. Oh, that's, that's probably my, my brother is more like that. So as soon as you hear those descriptions, it's like, yeah, I know someone who's pretty much in, mainly in one of those quadrants. I use this model with teams, with leadership teams, finance teams, operations teams, research and development teams, sales teams because it's such a simple model. And when you do the official DISC uh, assessment, you know you, you get your specific report back and it tells you exactly where is your dot on the grid, what's your primary type, what are your priorities, what motivates you, what frustrates you, what do you want from other people? Uh, it also goes into how 
do you need to, uh, how do you need to um, flex or change or adapt yourself for those around you? And that's so powerful. How do I, you know, I, I'm, let's say I'm very S and I'm very caring about people and harmony and I'm reporting to somebody who's got a high level of D, right? And they're about results and just get it done and don't really think too much about how people feel, just get it done. Well, that's a challenge, right? Knowing your type is really valuable, step one. Knowing the types of the people around you that you work with. And then step three is like, so this is me, this is them. Step three is then how do I, need to adapt my communication style to this person because she prefers the big picture and energy. He prefers detailed precision and what's next. Um, she prefers, actually, let's start with people first and the team and energy and making sure everyone's up to speed. Uh, whereas this person is like, no, no, that's all important, but what's most important is results and what are we doing or what are the actions and what's gonna happen next. So this is the DISC personality model. I really encourage you to look into it. Uh, if you're interested in uh, having DISC run through your team, I can highly recommend myself. <laughs> I know a fantastic practitioner. He's a trained trainer in DISC certification. His name is Tim Robbins and he'll do a great job. Really, look into DISC, uh, speak to people. I'm sure you're gonna find some people who've already done DISC. Uh, it's a really, really powerful system. It really, very quickly, will give you great insight into yourself, into your team. Uh, it will help your salespeople to become more effective at selling uh, because they need to adapt themselves to the, those four types as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the four personality types. Have you got an idea of what type you are just from this description? If you have, leave it in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions, yeah, again, leave some comments below. Thanks very much.